Hi, I'm Ava, and this is my brother Aiden, and we're part of the Ferrer family. Today we're going to do a devotional called, I'm Sorry. That's right, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoy and learn something new. Today we'll read Colossians 3, 12 through 13. God has chosen you and made you his holy people. He loves you. So your new life should be like this. Show mercy to others. Be kind, humble, gentle, and patient. Don't be angry with each other, but forgive each other. If you feel someone has wronged you, forgive them. Forgive others because the Lord forgave you. Sorry. Ah, oh, sorry. I don't want to say sorry. Sorry, I guess. Say sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Point number one, say sorry like you mean it. Saying sorry can be easy for some people, well, but for others it can be very difficult. We all know that the Bible teaches us to say I'm sorry to each other, but we need to remember that saying sorry is only part of the solution. The other part is that we need to say it like we mean it from the bottom of our hearts. Don't just say sorry, but say it with kindness and love. Just like Ava said, say it like you mean it. Try it next time. It'll help you out a lot the next time you get into a bump with your brother or sister, mom or dad, or even your husband or wife. Point number two, say I forgive you. When someone says I'm sorry to you, they're also actually saying, please forgive me. So it's equally important to say back to them, I forgive you whenever someone says they are sorry. When they hear you say, I forgive you, it really helps them feel loved and accepted and that you really care about your relationship with them or your friendship. And the next time your brother or sister or wife or husband says, I'm sorry to you, say back to them, I forgive you and I love you. Jesus wants us to get along and love each other deeply from the heart. Point number three, be the first one to say I'm sorry. Whenever we hurt each other, the temptation is to not say sorry at all or wait for the other person to say sorry. For example, if our brother or sister has hurt us, we want them to apologize first and then we feel we can say sorry after them. But God teaches us in the Bible in Matthew 5 that it's important to say sorry first no matter who did the hurting first. So try it out. Try to say sorry first before your brother does. Try to apologize first before your sister does. Try to ask for forgiveness first before your wife or husband does. And God will bless your humble heart. Sorry, Mommy and Daddy. I apologize. It's my fault. Please forgive me. I didn't mean it. Did I hurt her feelings? I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. My bad. I understand. I'm sorry. Whoa. Okay, good. So that was perfect. The only thing is, Aiden, the only, Aiden, the only thing is your, this is all I saw. <laughs> Just your eyes. You need to scoop back a little bit. Scoop right back, there, back. right there. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, let's try it again. I'm sorry. That's right. I'm you're, you're sorry. You went down again. See how you're like, like this? I only see your eyes. Stand up. <laughs> Silly Willie. Yeah, right there. Don't move. <laughs> Action. Okay. Action. No, no. Oh, stop. That's okay. I always forget. Sorry, I guess. Oh my gosh, that was good. <laughs> no, I can't hear it. Yeah, I don't understand what you're saying. Say sorry. Yeah, but you gotta look angry. Remember? Say sorry. I need to sneeze. Was that part of the film? <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. That got me sneezing. Uh, Aiden. Shh. We gotta do that again. Aiden, you have to be silent on the film. <laughs> good, let's try it again. Yeah, let's see. That's okay. Lights, camera, and action. One last time. Ready? Lights, camera, and action. 
<laughs> I forgive you. Say, <laughs> say I forgive you. Yeah. Okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> Stand up straight. Legs, Kara, and action. Thank you for joining. 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 <laughs> Thank you for joining our devotional and have a great week.